Lightyear, Lightyear, Lightyear. The brand new Pixar movie and Toy Story spinoff featuring the one and only Bud Lightyear. I've honestly been waiting for this one for quite some time and I was able to go all the way to Hollywood to see it. And I feel like I should share my thoughts about it, but first there's a couple things that I feel like need to be brought up. Financially, it's doing bad. As of the writing of this video, the domestic box office opening was estimated to be around $70 to $100 million. Not super amazing, but it's still pretty decent for Pixar standards. But then opening weekend came and well, to say that it is currently underperforming would be an understatement. Only $20 million on a Friday and an estimated $50 million for the whole opening weekend on a movie that had a $200 million budget. Again, let me remind you that this is a Pixar movie, the first Pixar movie to be back in theaters, and is a spin-off of the Toy Story franchise, and is so far only on track to make a quarter of its budget in North America. I feel like the reason for this massive failure in box office numbers probably has to do with a number of reasons. One of the major factors has to do with this film being banned in many Middle East and Asian countries or just end up being rated for adults only. I'm not going to go over in detail why since I'm pretty sure most of you know by now it was the cause of a lesbian kiss scene that was in the movie for like, what, a literal second? But this same scene is what is leading up to this movie being review bombed to shit and honestly it's just a little sad to see. I mean there are definitely valid criticisms that this movie has that I'll get into a little bit but seeing how the existence of just a small lesbian relationship is what's causing people to run onto IMDB or Rotten Tomatoes to spam 1 out of 10 scores just ends up giving the wrong impression to people who might actually want to go see the movie. Review bombing like this ruins people's expectations and makes them not want to go see the movie at all, even if you are review bombing a movie with positive reviews. Another reason could be that families simply don't want to go out to the theater to watch a Pixar movie anymore. Considering the fact that the past three Pixar movies were all Disney Plus originals, and the shorter and shorter theatrical window that Disney movies have now, it's not surprising to see why most families rather wait another month to see it for free on the streaming service instead of spending $60 to $80 with a family of four. Probably even a lot more if you wanted to go see the movie at one of the few huge IMAXs in the country with the original 1.43 by 1 aspect ratio scenes. Which by the way I thought were pretty dope for the most part. It's just this whole string of circumstances this movie happened to be caught up in that in my opinion has caused it to do as poorly as it is doing right now. Moonfall even had a better opening than Lightyear. Oh. But does it actually deserve the underwhelming performance it's currently having? Well, depending on who you ask, the answer to that is either yes or no. The movie itself was pretty decent and honestly I was expecting a lot worse than what I've gotten out of it. That being said, it is definitely nowhere near Pixar's greatest. And even though I didn't really like Luca all that much, I'd argue that movie, along with Soul and Turning Red, definitely should have gotten a theatrical release instead of this one. When the movie's first teaser trailer was released, I was honestly interested in seeing a movie all about Buzz's origin story. It was cool seeing all these space and robot shots being beautifully animated by Pixar, so I was kind of hoping it would be like an epic Star Wars kind of movie done by the great minds of, well, Pixar. And while the animation certainly was impressive, everything else about it just kind of isn't. The story was good and overall not a problem to follow along, but at times just kind of feels empty. Like I feel like this movie would have been a lot better if it did more with its characters or even just had a pinch of that Pixar style we're used to. But it just feels so experimental with itself that I feel like this is Pixar's equivalent of Marvel's Eternals. Except Eternals suck and this didn't. I'm not saying Pixar movies should go out of their usual comfort zone to give us something worthwhile to watch. Like, Turning Red is a perfect example of a movie that does just that in order to express its message to viewers, or even give us some great moments here and there. But Lightyear is exactly the kind of movie you expected it to be. Yet another funny Spaceman movie. Hello? Oh, yeah. If you went into this movie expecting more than just that, then you're probably going to be disappointed with it. That being said, it does have its own fair share of great moments here and there. Socks definitely carries this movie, and it's not surprising to see Disney already jumping the ship to create a million new pieces of merchandise for him. The rookie characters were also pretty alright in this too. They're not obnoxious in any way, and they do ultimately play an important part to the movie later on. But I have a feeling I'm probably not even going to remember them a week after I've seen the movie. I like the bits and pieces of references that would influence the Toy Story movies in Andy's universe. The action and flying scenes were pretty cool, and most of the drama felt believable. Well, as believable as a $200 million space movie looking like this in 1995. Speaking of which, let's talk about some of the problems I do have with this movie. 
The movie basically opens up by telling us that the movie we are about to see is the same movie Andy saw back in 1995. First of all, no, you cannot copy Top Gun. Stop it. Second, if this movie is literally saying it's what inspired the Buzz Lightyear action figure, then I can go on and on for days about how this will likely have consequences for Pixar canon and any theories out there. Okay, before I move on, I'm going to let y'all know that I am about to enter into spoiler territory, so if you haven't seen the movie already, skip to this time frame in 3, 2, 1. Okay. I'm going to sound like Shay Frillis here, but the plot twist villain has to be one of the worst and most predictable plot twist villains I've ever seen in a Disney movie. Instead of Pixar choosing to have Zurich be revealed as the father of Buzz, like it was sort of being played as a joke in Toy Story 2. No, Buzz. I am your father. For some reason, they decided to do something different and have Zurich be revealed as an older Buzz instead. First of all, why was this needed? Second, even with the whole explanation that older Buzz gave about even being there in the first place, it only gives more questions than answers. How did older Buzz manage to get an entire robot army from literally just answering some random ass ship? Why couldn't Buzz just look for places to find resources to do what he needs to do to go back in time instead of using all the remaining fuel to go back in time? It's just this whole mess of unanswered questions that came about all because Pixar thought it would be clever to have a completely new twist to Zerg than the one we already knew 23 years ago. The scene with him and the other Buzz that upsets me the most though has to be when Pixar decided, you know what? Fuck it. Let's throw in a plot twist villain for practically no reason. While the other Buzz does have a valid reason for not wanting to go back in time because he wants to put others above himself, instead of the movie explaining to older Buzz why it should matter at first, or even if older Buzz had just asked why the other Buzz thinks the way he does, the movie essentially speedruns the whole ordeal, and when you know it, it's yet another predictable plot twist villain. Who could have seen that coming? It felt so unnatural and out of line with how it turned out, and if they had just spent a little more time talking it out, then maybe it could have worked out. Dumb villain overall and probably the most predictable one I've seen yet. So that's basically all I have to say about Lightyear. Overall, I think it's a pretty enjoyable and fun film. There were a couple problems I had with it here and there, but except for just one part of the movie near the end, there was nothing really too offensive about it. I came into Lightyear expecting a decent space action Buzz Lightyear movie and nothing else, so... If you are planning to see Lightyear soon, then I would also recommend getting into that mindset. It's not a Pixar movie that will seem mind-blowing in any way, except for the animation I suppose. So just be sure not to get your hopes up too much. Light 6 to a solid 7 out of 10. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Are you planning to see Lightyear? And if you have already, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. See ya!